Hi everyone, I'm Julie Gee, the naturalist at Burr Oak State Park. There are many signs that the spring season has arrived. One of my favorites is the emergence of the spring blooming woodland wildflowers. I'm going to share with you over the next few weeks many of these woodland blooming flowers. As the season progresses, more and more species will begin to bloom. But in the meantime, I'd like you to think about this question. Why are these flowers blooming now? Think about that and we'll talk about the answer at the end of this video. Let's go take a look at what's blooming. Spring Beauty is a very common early bloomer. It has grass-like leaves and flowers that range in color from white to heavily streaked with dark pink lines. Those dark lines are actually guides for insects to find the nectar. So they're nectar guides for small bees and some flies. That's quite an effective strategy to attract pollinators. It's hard to pick a favorite spring blooming wildflower, but hepatica is definitely at the top of my list. Hepatica is one of our earliest bloomers. The leaves stay on the plant stem throughout the winter and the plant doesn't produce new leaves until after the flower blooms. The three-lobed leaf of Hepatica resembles a liver and the genus Hepatica comes from the Greek word for liver. Centuries ago, People use the shape or form of a plant as a sign of its medicinal properties. This was called the doctrine of signatures. So because hepatica has this liver-like leaf, it was thought that hepatica could cure liver ailments. Hepatica comes in a variety of colors, from white to pink to lavender to light blue and even deep purple. Bloodroot is a noticeable spring wildflower with 7 to 12 white petals. Those petals don't last very long though. They fall off the plant after only a day or two. When bloodroot first starts blooming, the single leaf is wrapped around the stem. Later in the blooming process, that leaf will unfold into a large, rounded leaf with lobes. Bloodroot is called bloodroot because the juices of the root are reddish-orange, like blood. I couldn't leave out an early blooming shrub. Spicebush gives a beautiful yellow glow to the forest this time of year. The blossoms are actually edible, so if you wanted a little lemony treat while you're on the trail, you could take a spice bush blossom and pop it in your mouth. Now, to answer the question why these flowers are blooming now, they're blooming now to take advantage of the sunlight hitting the forest floor before the trees leaf out. Thanks for joining me today, folks. I will see you next time, and until then, stay safe, be well, and get outside.